everybody, welcome back. So I know the setup looks a little different today. Um, we are actually out at uh, the back building of my church. Um, I've got a class in a couple of hours, but I've been wanting to do this canvas for a while, but um, just really didn't have the space for it to dry and all that. So I brought it with me today to the church, that way I can sit here for the week before I can take it home. So this is a 24 by 36 level three artist loft gallery wraps heavy duty canvas so this canvas is extremely deep and um, it is extra reinforced so this is considered a professional grade canvas and um, so yeah it's, it's really big and really excited to do this we are going to be doing a dutch pour so as you notice the canvas is dual prep, black on one side, white on the other, feather prepped. And we have the blow dryer over here. This is just a regular Con Air Cord Keeper 1875. And it is going to be, um, we use high pressure, but the lowest heat setting possible. We've got all of our paints mixed up. Our black is the Deco Art Americana Lamp Ebony Black. The white, DecoArt Americana Snow Titanium White, and the white and the black is 15 ounces of the DecoArt Pouring Medium. Um, so it's 15 ounces of pouring medium. I did 3 ounces of paint and 0.5 ounces of water. So it's an extremely thin consistency. Because this is so big, we have a lot of paint that we need to move, so it needs to be thin. All right, our other colors are the Deco Art Americana Outdoor Living Ladybug, Outdoor Living Gold, Media Fluid Acrylics Dioxine Purple, Media Fluid, oh, sorry, uh, Americana Ultramarine Blue. I was going to use this one and decided not to. The mixture ratios for the outdoor living and the ultramarine blue was five ounces of paint, one ounce, I'm sorry, five ounces of pouring medium, one ounce of paint, and 0.2 ounces of water. The outdoor living was four point, no, sorry, 5.2 ounces of pouring medium, 0.8 ounces of paint, and 0.2 ounces of water. And the fluid acrylics was five ounces of pouring medium and about 1.2 ounces of the dioxide purple and no water. Because this is already thin, we didn't need water. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and move this stuff out of the way and we are gonna get started.
Just pushing these little wispies a little bit further so they go all the way to the end. Okay. I think that is it. We are going to go ahead and leave it just like this. So thank you all very much for watching. This is part one. Part two will be um, probably putting either a resin. Uh, more than likely we're going to do a resin coat on this because I want this shininess uh, that you can only get with resin. So down in the description below, all of the paint colors used as well as mixture ratios and anything that you need to recreate this painting. Um, please leave any questions or comments down in the description and I will do my best to get back to you. Also down in the description, links to my Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, as well as my website, guidedbybakedesigns.net. I look forward to seeing everybody in part two. Thank you very much for watching. Have a blessed day, and as always, God bless.